we have about 47 uh, day secondary schools and uh, today we were making our conclusions on a project which we have been discussing with the community and the principals for some time now about how to revamp uh, education in our local day schools, local day secondary schools. And I'm happy to announce that uh, we have come up with a, a more progressive uh, approach to handling our education in this constituency, whereby my office, which is a CDF, is going to undertake a partnership with the schools and with the community on how to handle and manage the bursary process. As you are aware, in the past, uh, we have had a, a, a program where uh, parents and students run around and make applications for our bursary process program. But starting today, for our day secondary schools, that process is going to be set aside and we have developed a more uh, proactive process that will involve principals of, of these secondary schools engaging in the bursary process. And we are, not, we are no longer going to ask students to go, go and make applications. We have been talking with the principals about their budgets. And uh, starting uh, the, uh, today, uh, all students, day, day secondary students in this constituency, are going to pay 2,000 shillings per term. That is 6,000 shillings per year. In place of 14,000 shillings, which... Uh, is the required fee that was being asked of them. And we have come up with this uh, program after wide consultations with the principles where the CDF resources are going to intervene. I also want to say that uh, the business, day schools in this constituency are our business. It is the business of my community as the MP to ensure that our day schools grow. We have a 100% transition policy of government which is not succeeding in our, in, our, in our constituency because of this problem of school fees and retention of students in schools. So going forward, we are working towards ensuring that we have, first of all, 100% transition, and two, we ensure that our students stay in schools. We are not going to expect to get good results from our students when 90% of all the time they are at home looking for resources, school fees from parents who are also unable. In the presence of uh, high economic, difficult economic situation that is the country is facing. We, we, we have, from the data we have collected from the principals, we have realized that about 2% of students are able to pay school fees, only 2%. That means 98% of our students do not pay school fees. Each, each and every principal have given us data. They have arrears of more than, there's no one who has arrears more, uh, less than a million shillings. So that information tells us that day schools are composed of all needy students. There's nobody, basically 90% 90, 90 are needy. So with that in mind, it therefore means that the process of selecting needy students through bursary form filling is, is opaque and useless. That's why we are, we are abandoning that process. For those in uh, boarding schools, those in uh, technical institutes and colleges, and those in public universities, those ones are the only ones who will be allowed to apply for bursaries directly. But the day scholars, their bursary application process will be guided by the principals from the schools. Thank you. I'm Eric Odianga, principal of Mahola Mixed Secondary School. Uh, I want to say this is a very noble idea. We have got our, from our MP. Our parents have had a challenge in fee payment. So the amount he has uh, supported the schools uh, with will go a long way uh, supporting our, our learners and also the principals meet their ob obligations. Also the 6,000 is affordable for parents and we call upon all our parents to make uh, arrangements to make the payments done so that our, our bills are paid in time and our services are offered as required. So we just want to appreciate the effort uh, done by the MP's office so that uh, our schools stay afloat all the year so without any hitch. So we call upon all our parents to do their part so that we have our schools offer the necessary uh, support or the services required to the community. Thank you. Not because I'm here. 
that you are good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Working. Okay. And you have even seen some parents have been paying firewood. Yes. Other things. Can't and members, to go and tell the parents the new program that you are coming up with, where none of them will lose, but they will be left with a balance struck by your projects is when you did the Karapun primary school. I was very impressed and that was enough to take you back to the parliament. <laughs> Ask me to continue. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so let me let me respond to the question of uh, the mandate of revising school fees is not part of their, their work. But because you know you are working with them closely, we are also going to engage them to see how we can continue working together. But I don't think you should worry about their what that you are uh, doing the allocation and you are allowing us to do the disbursement to the mm. students. Yes. That used to happen way back. Not paying school fees. There's a, a full deficit of paying school fees. And then <coughs> you give us 700. Township, uh, secondary schools. I want to say that this is my very first time to come to your school. I have been through yes. You are seeing for the first time? Yes. No balls. No balls. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, let me thank... Uh, to carry leaves to the principal because there will be a problem whereby the suppliers will demand to get what they have supplied. 